coming to the blue corner, representing TKO, give it up for Super Sarah Beth Speed! Oh, she's got a big support crowd here. Fun to keep on their feet for her. I saw a lot of people wearing the pink Superman shirts, and I thought that might be for her since her nickname is Super. So, lots and lots of people from TKO, it looks like. We have a Toyota RAV4 South Carolina plate. 8132LF. Sarah Beth coming out with the Muay Thai gear on with the Muay Thai traditional entrance. I guess we know what to expect from this young lady as she didn't, gets ready to go into the cage. You circle the cage though. Usually uh, when you go out traditionally and you have that head wrap, you tend to circle the cage, circle the ring. Uh, maybe because it's in an octagon. <laughs> Super Sarah Beth speaks out of TKO Martial Arts, getting ready to make her kickboxing debut. All right, before the next fighter comes out, we have a Toyota RAV4 blocking someone in. Uh, license plate 8132LF. Silver RAV4, please move your vehicle, you're blocking someone in. All righty, now we are going on into the red corner. Coming to us from the Ying School of Self-Defense, give it up for Risa the Hornet Rebels. Sounds like she's got just as big of a crowd with her as Sarah Best Speaks does. We're going to hear some pops in this one. Man, absolutely great to see so much support from a female fighter. That feeling that has just eluded so many for so long is finally over. And they can come and watch their friends and families beat each other up for fun. It's about time. <laughs> Looking forward to see if this holds up to the excitement of the previous two youth matches. I'm sure it will with the amount of support these Once young ladies have behind them. Once again, the silver RAV4 license plate 8132LF. Your car will get towed. South Carolina plates, your car will get towed. Now, please cheer on these girls for fighting each other. <laughs> All right. Super in the blue corner versus the Hornet. Ooh, and out with a head kick immediately. Throw knees to back off this body lock. Oh, nice. grounded strike. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Took a big shot to the body. She, and she's Lisa getting, she's getting a 10 count already. That might be it. That might be it. Super she's best speaks. Little, little hurt with the body shot there. There we go. Oh, this is questionable. This, this I don't know. I don't know, Mr. South that Carolina referee. Work. I don't know about this one, Mr. South Carolina referee. It looked like uh, Sarah Beth came in with very good. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, no. Sarah Beth coming out with definitely more technique. Rev yeah. is looking a little bit more. Uh, if you're crawling. Sarah Beth, you're looking to light up that body. Oh, oh. Slip the, Looks like me. a slip there. Teresa tough as nails. I wonder if uh, Sarah Beth is going to come out with more body shots, recognizing yeah, that. I tell you, it, it takes a while to build up that body conditioning. To see a, a strike to the body hurt that much that early on, you know it had to be a big one. It, it looks, these knees look very impressive from Sarah Beth. She's, like she's trying to block them too now. People don't want none of that. There you go. She's got to be careful not to dip her head there. Sarah Beth speaks, looking super clean in the exchanges, and especially on that knees and the, uh, knees in the clinch. Great check. Beautiful. She's walking her down now. Yeah, definitely crossing the feet and all. Doesn't seem concerned about being. Like, oh, good jab from Rebels. Rebels still fighting with oh, everything and she's got. Oh, another powerful knee from Sarah Beth. She is really gunning for that body. A smart, good fight IQ for someone so young. They, don't turn your head there. 
And Rebels looks away from those shots. They're going to hurt twice as bad. Every time Rebels starts to get going, another knee to the body oh, lands. And great cross. Man, how about how about these girls getting getting some clap out of my uh, co-host Dylan right here? That was beautiful. That was a great round. I cannot believe that Risa Rebels got up for that 10 count and that she was allowed to continue and that she looked that good after looking that hurt. Yeah, you get, I mean, you know, you get hit in the liver, basically sends a signal to your brain, like, this is it. <laughs> this is where we end. And, you know, after several seconds go by, it subsides. But unless you're used to it, you, you don't know that it's going to subside. She was not having it. She was fighting her body to get up, and she did. It helps when you have uh, such a big crowd supporting you behind you. You don't want to let them down, you know? She answered the call, and she looks, she looks fine in the corner, too, right now. She's stretching her ribs out. I'm very interested to see how she looks after she's had a moment to recover here on the stool. But Sarah Beth Speaks is a technical monster. You can just tell she is an animal in there. All right, here we go. I'm, I'm looking forward to another exciting round of this. Me too. This has been, the, this has been a crazy fight so far. Crowd really amping up these two ladies right now. Yeah, let's see who's going to be the initiator right now. Looks like Sarah Beth trying to back up Rebels. Oh, good jab. Rebels, Rebels is right scrapping there. Now, now swinging a little wide. Looking to make a statement yeah. here. Um, I hope both these girls keep their chins down a little bit more on the entries here. I feel like Rebels just doesn't have the respect of Sarah Beth yet, and that she's just letting herself get hit in the exchanges. Maybe a career in MMA in her future. Seems <laughs> to really like these uh, low body locks. That's a very textbook double leg body lock there, yeah. There she goes, walking her down again. We don't have a round timer right now. We will get that fixed for you guys as soon as possible. But we still have about another minute knees. left in this one. Oh, knees to a short right cross that short, Sarah Beth. That short, that short right was tough. That short right that landed was. home. That'll definitely uh, rock your jaw a little bit. Oh, Rebel tired, hands on the knees there. I mean, looking. when you get hit to the body that hard that early. It, it tires you, yeah. man. Oh, these oh, oh. Looks oh. like Sarah Beth really finding her mark right now. Rebels Super Sarah away. Beth pulling oh, here it goes. Rebels doesn't want none of this. The crowd is getting she into is it now. She is going off on this girl. I'm getting excited. I'm yelling a little bit into the microphone there. Oh, man, she's. That's what we're here for. She's getting another count. Her, her body is hurting. This may be it. She may, I don't know. Yeah, you're, I'm telling you, if you're not used to these body shots, that's. I'm lucky that my coaches like to stand me against the wall and punch me. <laughs> it works. <laughs> that it does. Make fun of it on Instagram hey, all you want. It works. I'd rather get hurt in the gym like that, you know, not physically hurt, but just feeling that hurt than be up in here feeling it for the first time. She has been... Come on, crowd, crowd's hyping her up. I'm not sure. I'm not sure Get what back is. In there, girl. I'm not sure what is happening because this kind of pause normally happens when somebody gets hit low. Yeah, maybe it's, a, maybe it's a maybe it's maybe maybe she got hit low. She looks, she's saying she's ready uh, with her mouth, but her body is definitely yeah, saying uh, Seth, certainly otherwise. Not. Her body's like, we need to get out of here yeah. and go to Dairy Queen. Hey, nothing a chocolate milkshake could not cure. Oh yeah, especially. Uh, Brown or blizzard or something. I, you think uh, Sarah Beth tastes the blood in the water right here? Of course. I mean, she's she's been like a shark ever yeah. since that first there shot. There she goes, stalking her prey. If she if her corner's on, her, oh, there we go. Crowd Sarah loving Beth. this. Every, Risa very tough over here. Rebels I, not not down for the count. Oy. I cannot believe that didn't that didn't put her out. This girl this girl Risa is, uh, Rebels is tough, dude. And there she goes, Sarah Beth stalking her down, Mental. working the inside. Ooh. That short right again, like we were talking about. Mentally and physically tough. Sarah Beth finally starting to look human as she struggles to breathe going back to the corner. But for the past two rounds has been a complete terminator right. walking her down. 15 years old, can you imagine that? Like uh, just being that hungry in a match. I believe uh, Rebels has a couple years age on her at 17. Um, 
But I mean, both young girls just ready to put on a show. And honestly, Sarah Best's uh, training, whoever told her to practice those body shots, smart. Very smart. Well, that TKO kickboxing team, they, uh, they look like they know what they're doing now that they've got uh, Sarah Beth out here showing off the fruits of their labors. Oh, it looks like uh, some blood coming out of the nose of Revels. You know, Revels, Revels is listed at 5'4". I, I don't think that could be right. I mean, I, I think Sarah's a, a good bit taller than her. Uh, it looks like Sarah has more of the uh, punched over fight stance. Maybe they were taking that into consideration. But overall, it seems to have decent reach. Yeah. Sarah Beth speaks with a complete disregard for Revels striking and just yeah. charges right at her. Revels trying to get those double unders to maybe stop the onslaught here. I don't know how successful that's going to be. And the knockdown again from uh, just Sarah Beth. Just, just, the, just the, the big brother push, as we like to call it. It's hard to contend with that forward pressure. You look at that and, you know, anybody who's smart, they see the exhaustion. They see the hurt. And they go in for the kill right here. She loves that right spear knee just up and through the body. Yeah, I almost wish she'd fire off of her left a little bit more because that's the side that's not being protected. But, I mean. Ag agreed. <laughs> she's, she's throwing a lot on that right side. Oh, big nothing. shot. Again with those short rights, really flopping the headgear around on Revels. Sarah Beth going oh, for the shoot. kill that against the cage again. Cross right to the face. Definitely get some blood coming out of that. There's the left. Oh, oh big shot for Sarah Beth. Oh, double right hooks. I cannot those believe. Are, those got to be rocking her a little bit. Risa, the Hornet Rebels looking tired, but still here. Yeah. Somehow, some way. I'd love to see a finish. She can barely hold her hands up. There you go. Man, that right hook is, her hands are low. It's, it's now the time. You know, we've got about 25 seconds to go here. Sarah Beth Speaks has been hitting a heavy bag for the past seven minutes and is <laughs> finally starting to look tired and slowing down. Hey, that wears, yeah, you're definitely right on that. It wears you out, man. It wears you out, but keep, here we go. 10 seconds left. Let's see the ladies finish strong. Oh, another right to the face. Risa Revels oh. hangs tough and survives. But that woman right there, that Sarah Beth Speaks. A dominating performance from Sarah Beth Speaks at a TKO right she here. She looked phenomenal in her kickboxing debut. If you're her coaches, if you're her fans and family that came here to support her, you could not ask for a better fight from her. She nearly finished Risa Rebels three times in this bout, but Risa was able to hang tough and she's still here for the decision. And won very early on. Seconds into the fight. Very impressive performance from the young lady, Sarah Beth Speaks. One more time, give it up for these ladies. Good Lord Almighty. We go to the judges' scorecard for a unanimous decision. Out of the blue corner, Super Sarah Beth Speaks, representing TKO Kickboxing. Absolute dominant performance. 